Today we are in Griffith Park with this creepy thing behind me. I'll zoom in on it. We are heading to the haunted picnic table. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, share. It helps us out. Hit that subscribe button. Let's head up this crazy steep hill. Let's go. I'm about half a mile into, well, catch my breath. It's really hot and humid today. Half a mile into our hike up to the haunted picnic table of Griffith Park. This is probably the hardest part of the hike. And there's three ways to get up to the abandoned pavement. One is through a landfill, which we'll actually come into here in a few minutes. And there's an even steeper way up than this, which we didn't take today, but that is the quickest. As you can see, it is a climb. As I've stated previously in previous videos, my goal is to lose 20 pounds before the opening of Halloween Horror Night and not Scary Farm, which is exactly one month from now, exactly one month. Today is August 11th, or 14th. Today is 14th. And we got one month to go. I figured this is perfect hike to the haunted picnic table to kick into gear that a little bit of exercise and weight loss. I kicked off this weight loss journey back in July, a month ago, at Knott's Berry Farm. And I'll put a link to that video down in the description. A bunch of exercises you can do inside the theme park while you're going from ride to ride, show to show. So we've made it to the top of the hill here at the Toyon Canyon Landfill. And once I catch my breath, I'll give you a little bit of history. Oh, I've caught my breath. We have done about three quarters of a mile from the parking lot where we started down at the uh, Mineral Wells parking area. We are at the Toyon Canyon landfill, which was used from 1957 to 1985. When it was completed, when it was done being used in 1985, it was supposed to be turned into a full recreation area, which clearly never happened. But it is open to the public to walk through. It's very creepy. Makes for some really good photos. And I've seen a lot of TV shows and movies filmed up here. So we're going to continue to that haunted picnic table which is about another mile and a half up the road on pavement, abandoned pavement. And you will see wild animals. We've seen coyotes, snakes, deer. I think there's a P-22, the mountain lion, lives in the canyon over there. So just keep your eyes peeled when you're around because there's not too many people, but there are a lot of wild animals. Like I said, ignore the no trespassing sign, says the Toyon Canyon landfill. It is open to the public. Just don't do anything stupid. Don't destroy anything. Don't graffiti anything, which I'm sure you wouldn't. But as long as you respect the open nature here, they'll keep it open to the public. This road used to be used as the access to the Griffith Observatory from the backside from the Burbank. And you could see there used to be a bunch of pullouts that went into little picnic areas and rest stops. And there's still some hidden spots you might want to explore but again be careful where you're walking and I would recommend coming with somebody for reference we're at what they call Kathy's Corner on Google Maps you could see the media district of Burbank Warner Brothers Universal Studios is just around those mountains uh, there's Disney straight off in the distance, Bob Hope Airport, downtown Burbank, and again the landfill, which we just came up from. This was approximately that location of the famous and iconic scene from La La Land, where they're dancing in the streets by all the light posts. And Nick was telling me earlier that the landfill was actually used in Fast and Furious 2 and 3 and Terminator 3. So about a quarter mile from our destination, we're going to keep going up to this haunted picnic table. Scary. We have made it to the picnic table from the Mineral Wells parking area. It has been 57 minutes, two miles, 2.31 miles, a little under two and a half miles. Here it is, the haunted picnic table of Griffith Park. And it's actually been cleared out since we were here last. We were here doing a video back in April, which is our halfway to Halloween series. I'll put a link on in the comments. It's actually pretty clean today. Story has it that two young lovers, Rand and Nancy, were here Halloween night, 1976, you see on the table, 1031 76, 
making out, being a little uh, amorous, frisky, if you want to say. And this tree came tumbling down on top of them. And they say that they still haunt this picnic table to this day. Now, I've been up here before when I've heard voices. There is a hiking trail up on the mountain above. So was it the hiking trail and people hiking that I heard? Or was it Rand and Nancy haunting their final resting place here? I'll leave it up to you if you hike up here to the haunted picnic table of Griffith Park. It says right there, Rand and Nancy. We are at the least busy intersection in the city of Los Angeles, Vista Del Valle Drive and Mount Hollywood Drive, which is no longer open to vehicular traffic. You do see the occasional film trucks up here. Actually, there's a filming sign right there. They must have been filming something up here this week. I actually came up here once and saw them filming an episode of Scorpion. It was really cool. We stood and watched it. So we're at Vista Del Valle and Mount Hollywood Drive, just a few short feet from the haunted picnic table number 29. And tell us what your favorite haunted location is in Los Angeles down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. And we got to head back down another two miles. Let's go. We are currently right there and the picnic table is about right there. And we came from over here. So we went this way, all the way up, all the way to there, about two and a half miles. That was our 4.58 mile hike through Griffith Park. We were back to the car. It was an hour and 50 minutes. We kind of took our time, took some videos and pictures as you could see. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do so. That helps us out. If you're not following us on social media, you can do so at the Funnel Cake blog on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok.